Hey guys, um, after doing a bit of testing, uh, I noticed that uh, we were having trouble with this reset plate. And I'm sorry to say, I, I thought that the 8-bit engineer guys had um, tested this in SMP more. Uh, but I guess in multiplayer, there is a problem with um, going too fast. I haven't actually researched it yet, so I should probably research before I say, you know, what I think it is. But um, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and guess that there's a problem with it going too fast and it it's not catching this plate. the The cart never actually hits this plate, which we definitely need it to hit this plate. We cannot have any any uh, chance of of it not hitting the plate. So unfortunately, we can't use that glitch. Uh, I was hoping we could. And uh, it would have been nice if we could, but it's not necessary to be honest. We don't need to hit the, you know, we don't need that glitch. It was just gonna save us an extra minecart and some track and you know some other shit. But you know, it, it, it's it's fine. We don't we don't need that. So I mean, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. I I don't I'm not entirely sure what it is. I'll probably research it a little bit later, but I I, I don't really care too much. Um, maybe by the next station I'll have a better idea of what's what's going on. But uh, what what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna leave the plate there since we have the redstone all hooked up. And as simple as we can do it, we're just gonna build another booster right here. And it's it's just gonna boost the cart right past this reset plate, and we'll all it'll it'll all be good. Um, we need to build it back here because this is where the curve is at. We want to. We need. We always need to curve into a booster, or or incline into a booster, or decline into a booster. Um, if that isn't, you know, completely clear already. If you if you go back and look at all the boosters that I've already built, they they all follow that rule. One of those rules. So let's let's lay down the track. Um, I'm gonna break this so that we don't have to worry about it real quick. And Ugh. okay, I need to go make more track real quick. I wasn't planning on actually building anything anymore with iron, so it's a little annoying. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Okay. Oh no, we have track in here. Okay, cool. Let's let's go ahead and lay this down. Um, ignore the troll. Let's go ahead and put that there. Place that there. Yep, we can do that. It's all fine and dandy. Up. Oh, right, we're getting this again. Remember how we solved this? We just broke that. Place that. Re oh shit. <laughs> Um, easiest way to solve this. Uh, easiest way, stupid troll, get out of here, troll. Um, easiest way to solve this is to simply just come down a a a, a thing later. Um Okay, so let's yeah break this. And I know this looks mentally retarded. But a lot of things that I do look completely retarded, so let's get used to that right now. Um it's normally because of the order in which I do them. So let's Go ahead, lay down a pressure plate. It's all good, it's all good. And that's going to solve our problem, I can already tell you. Class that up, it's all good. Um, the only problem that could arise from this is we're not actually getting enough boost anymore. So what we need to do is we need to come back up here. 
Uh, we need to place the cart back into the cartridge. And we need to tell the troll to get off the track. Let's see if the troll gets off. Yay! <laughs> uh, okay. There goes the button. Good. And I'm probably... <laughs> uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's going in the loop. We need to hit this plate to make it change on to go grab a cart. And if all goes... Oh, sh shit. Okay. Well, up, oh, Motherfucker. All right. Well, well, the cart definitely went into the the cartridge holder. That's that's good. Let's kill this little faggot and this chicken. That's okay. Let's ignore the chicken. All right. So let's go make sure it went back into the cartridge or the holding chamber. Yep. Lovely. Okay. Let's fix that. Um, we're gonna need to do the same thing right here. So uh, let's place that there. What are we at? Six minutes? That's good. Okay, so what we're going to do is put another booster right here. And again, our wiring for the button is right there. So what we do is we just move it over one. That's all we gotta do. Uh oh, wait, that could be a problem. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Um Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break that block. Ow. Okay, that hurt. We're gonna we're gonna go back up. We're gonna find figure out a way, okay. Um, I think I'm still in that pressure plate. No? No, it's all good. Okay. So we're going to come back up. Uh, what were we doing? We were rigging up this button correctly. And it hit that, that line of, uh, that line of, um, of redstone right there. So we need to hook this wire up to hit that, that line of redstone. Actually, you know what? That's gonna that's gonna suck. Actually. Oh, idea. Here's what we're gonna do. There's always a way to do it. Always a way to do it. Even if it sounds like it's complete shit, there's always a way to do it. There you go. See? Easy. And the reason why I was having trouble... Okay, that didn't sound healthy. The reason why I was having trouble... Um, uh, the reason why I didn't want to do that is is because, remember, earlier I said the redstone has to be pointing in the direction of the torch. And in the way that we had it set up, where there was just two blocks next to each other, the redstone was actually pointing to the left. Um, the redstone needs to be pointing in the direction of the torch. So... Just get used to it. Um, if you want, you can try to do that on your own and see what happens, and you'll you'll you know get what I'm talking about. So, a quick little booster right here. Okay. All we do with this is we place a bit of redstone. Well, we need to clear some of this track out so that it doesn't clip into it, but we place, place a torch right here, and it fixes that. Oh, yeah, we were having this problem. Um, okay, so why are there explosions going on up there? That's what I want to know. It's all, I, I just, I don't want shit exploding in my station. That's all I ask for. 
So what I wonder is, can I just go underneath and do that shit? Probably, huh? I'll kill that chicken. Okay. There's way too much wildlife here. And there's redstone underneath. And there's redstone that passes underneath. Okay, well, we're at 10 minutes now, and we have some bugs that we need to fix. So I'm going to stop it here, and um, uh, we'll, we'll start up another episode on debugging, and uh, we'll, we'll get this all sorted out. And I'll explain uh, why this, this track is curving. All right, I'll see you guys later.